Greetings, my fellow normies. I hope you're all doing well today. So, Lucasfilm has put out that Lars Mikkelsen has signed on the dotted line to star as Thrawn in the upcoming Ahsoka spinoff show. So, we knew that um, this gentleman, I believe, already voices the voice of Thrawn in um, Star Wars Rebels, so it kind of makes sense for them to kind of use him. Um, so we already knew that this was coming and stuff. There were some rumors that it might be somebody else, like um, Robert Downey Jr., but um, um, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't really kind of take that seriously, if you know what I mean, you know? But... Um, we already know that Thrawn was going to be playing a pretty important role in the upcoming Ahsoka spinoff. There was some talk of there being separate um, TV shows and stuff like that when it comes to Thrawn and all that. But um, that has pretty much resolved that situation and all that. Um, further, it's been revealed that... You know, of course, um, Rosero Dawson, uh, who portrayed Ahsoka in The Mandalorian Season 2, will be reprising the role. Uh, she, re or she revealed she was looking for she was looking for Thrawn. The last time we saw the character was towards the end of Star Wars Rebels. If you don't know already, except the spoiler, that Thrawn was stuck on a ship with Ezra Brizzer, Brizzer, Bridger. And they went into the unknown regions. It was recently revealed by Kessel Run Transmission that Ahsoka Tano's spinoff series will be all about the search for Ezra Bridger, and Thrawn will be linked to that. There have been have been all sorts of rumors about who will be playing Thrawn in the live action. We heard it might have been uh, Benedict Carp Cubber Cumberbunch, uh, Leon Glean, Jason Isaac. Anthony Starr, and many others. Um, even like I su suggested earlier, it might have been Robert Downey Jr. for the role as well, too. But um, other than that, um, Dave Filoni and John Favreau have wanted the actor. Um, it's I, I personally think that this this direction of going with Thrawn and Ahsoka and all that, I think it's very, very interesting. I've wanted them to go into the Unknown Region and kind of get away from the mainstream of what is the universe of Star Wars, only because in a lot of ways I think it's been oversaturated. Um, further, um, Dave Filoni and John Favreau, uh, wanted Dolores Nicholson um, for the role. Um, it makes sense. Um, and like I said, I don't care for Robert Downey Jr. to play that role because he just doesn't seem like the the naval tactician that could really pull off Thrawn. You really got to have a, a keen look and feel. And I think you really have to think the way that the character has been written by Timothy Zahn. Um, I've written a lot of, I've not written, I've read a lot of uh, Timothy Zahn stuff from like Heir to the Empire, stuff like that. And I personally think that they're going in this direction. I, I think that, um, I think that the Grand Admiral Thrawn uh, direction is the best way to go, especially if they're attempting to rewrite or basically eliminate the the sequels and stuff because if you've read at least three of timothy zahn's new books and stuff there's a lot more going on in the un unknown region and all that stuff i won't say any spoilers here because i don't want to do that to anybody but the books are pretty good i've, I've already read through them and it's it's kind of like holy shit um but Here's one of the sources told us about Lars Mikkelsen have signed on to, to star as Grand Admiral Thrawn in the live action Star Wars. It's all done. I can confirm that Lars Mikkelsen will be playing Thrawn in live action in the Ahsoka series. 
The deal might also include other Star Wars live action shows beyond Ahsoka. I'll let you know. I then asked some sources I've worked with in the past whether they could collaborate this information. Dave Filoni's been very keen on getting Lars to play Thrawn in live action. He was only real choice for the role. It does look like he signed on to play the Rebels character he voiced in the animated series. It also seems as though Lars will play Thrawn in other live action shows as well as not. It's just not just Ahsoka, which makes sense. Lars Mikkelsen is Mad Mikkelsen's older brother and have been in a lot of stuff in both Danish and English. His most famous role in English would be as Sherlock's villain Charles Augustus Magnuson. He was also in the original version of The Killing and he appeared as a Russian president Victor Petrov in the House of Cards on Netflix. And that, I've got to say, I've watched House of Cards and I really, really enjoyed it. <clears throat> and uh, his character playing the Russian president, Viktor Pavlov and stuff, um, he played it really well and stuff, I have to say. Um, so I guess you can say it's been confirmed that uh, Mad Mickelson, or Lars Mickelson will be playing Thrawn. Um, I'm really curious to see how he pulls it off. I was kind of critical a little bit with regards to animated uh, Thrawn because I don't think he was very... Um, the way... I, I hope that they bring Timothy Zahn in to help them write how mysterious and very much how much of a genius tactician he is. And I think it, it says a lot about the role of who Thrawn is in his way of analyzing cultures to understand a people. And just just the way he goes about that and stuff. And I've been very trained in, in military things and stuff like that um, in the past and during the war and all that stuff. And you really, really have to think outside the box. And, and I think that the Thrawn character kind of takes it to a whole new level and all that. In a lot of ways, for some reason, I want to say that um, Thrawn, in a lot of ways, is a very deep tactician. And I mean that by, if you look at some of the Cold War tactics that the Russians did, especially with current President Vladimir Putin, um, he is a very good and devious um, person to really play against in regards to um, a lot of things that went on during the Cold War. And he was instrumental in a lot of those things. And I'm, I'm very um, knowledgeable in that area. And when I see Grand Admiral Thrawn, that's what I see and stuff. Someone that's very well planning and very devious and so on and so forth and all that. And Timothy Zahn, who created Thrawn, um, I would I would encourage you all to get his books, read his books and stuff like that, and and watch because he got uh, approved for a full trilogy with Thrawn. So I think that um, we can anticipate that Thrawn is going to play a big role in the Star Wars period in general. And I think and I hope that it also erases the prequels. So I'm going to end it here. We're about nine minutes in. I'm trying to keep my videos about nine minutes. If um, there's anything you want to hear. You discuss, talk about, um, discuss, whatever, and stuff. Let me know down at the bottom. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll be talking to you later. Take care, everybody. Bye.